Hey guys, going to be using the Vosh card again today. Looks like this is going to be the tenth shave on it. It's been getting mixed reviews from me so far as I put it through different razors. So I'm going to pick a different type of razor to put it in today. The Piccolo Open Comb. Now the Grande has the open comb as well, and it's the same exact head, but it's the thicker handle, though that handle is hollow. So this is actually a denser feeling handle because it's solid, and it's got these uh, lines going straight through it. It's got great grip. Those lines do not, you don't, I don't feel any slippage at all vertically. Of course, you're not going to feel any that way. Uh, it's a great handle as well. I, I didn't like the look of it at first when I saw it online, but then once you hold this little guy, he's got a nice dense feel. He doesn't feel as dainty as he looks. All right. Now with Fatip, sometimes you can get a little, it can take a few seconds to line up the blade, but if you just kind of drop the blade on there about 50% of the time, and then you drop the 50% uh, of the time, you'll end up with a, a properly aligned blade if you just kind of drop the things on there in a kind of a natural way. Yep, and that'll work. I've already put uh, some water on my face and you know the blade and the razor. The soap today is going to be this little sample that I got from a Maggard meetup. You see that bear? Well, this is Nantahala, and this is from Murphy and McNeil. And this is their Kodiak soap, day, soap base, I believe. My first time trying that. I've tried very few Murphy and McNeil products. The brush today is going to be this gorgeous prize brush I won from the Lather Games. And it's got a B4 declaration knot and a that darn raw handle. I'm already in process with the Lather because I just now decided to do a kind of a PSA little short video about how to load samples from the pucks uh, from the tiny sample pucks like I just showed you I did my usual thing where I uh, put a quarter of a teaspoon pressed it into the bottom of the bowl I had soaked my brush for several minutes shook it out until it was just lightly wet and started working on the lather and what you saw just a second ago was exactly that it I had not added any other water yet so now I've added one teaspoon it's already kind of creaming up pretty nicely doesn't look like a rough lather anymore another teaspoon and that might be it I mean I don't I don't know how this base likes to be treated so we'll just see before knot is wonderful pretty easy splay nice soft tips wonderful soft tips this TDR handle is very ergonomic for me so it's really a privilege to receive this brush for my work in the lather games the guys who um, got better than me in the games had awesome uh, choices as well it was a kind of a choose from the list kind of thing in the order in which you placed one guy is going to get a special creation from Scott Stewart from Declaration Grooming. And it was a mystery prize. I mean, it could be anything. And, um, but knowing Scott, it's going to be something really very quite amazing. And so, uh, looking forward to hearing about what that's going to be. Maybe custom brush. Maybe one of the batches that's so rare and hard to get. Who knows. But then there were some B8 brushes, I believe, that, uh, that were second and third place. And they had uh, really awesome declaration handles with them that are very, very hard to get. So, uh, tremendous prizes from the Lather Games. And then wonderful sets uh, later on down the, down the line. Wonderful sets of soap from people like Mammoth and Storybook and Declaration Grooming. So, with just two teaspoons of, of water added... We have what looks like a very nice lather. Let's feel. It's got a, a light, creamy slickness to it. 
I'm just going to add a little bit more water. I'm, I'm a little cautious, so I don't want to add a lot. But also, I don't really like adding water to the brush once it's on my face. It's just kind of a chore. So I'll try it in the tub here. So two and a half teaspoons of water is less than I usually add to most soaps. Now it looks like I've got tons of lather here, so that's pretty cool. So maybe this soap base does not need all that much water. Looks terrific, it's got a nice sheen to it. Let's see how it works. today. I did not wash my face before the shave and so the first pass of the lather is going to be kind of responsible for that and so it's not going to act quite as nice as it might normally since it has to work to dispel the oils and things like that. They're doing pretty well. Brush feels amazing, of course. I could be lathering gravel and it would feel good with this one. Just work that brush for a couple minutes. Two. You don't just want to spread the soap on your face right away because that first pass you you need to kind of connect the lather with your face. Let it absorb into your, the top layers of your skin. Let it work in uh, the moisture to work for your hair, your stubble, to uh, get it nice and wet. There are a few people out there who think they, uh, to, who like to shave a little more quickly because they believe that, and not load a lather for quite as long, because they believe that the uh, the brittleness of the hair is is better for uh, for cutting. Like for instance, a a willow tree. If you try to cut it and push it aside, it might lean, you know. But a firm tree, a firm sapling, you're trying to cut it. It might because it's bridge, uh, brittle and rigid. It might snap off a little easier. Is his theory? Never worked to try to figure out if that's right or not. I think I usually feel better during the shave if I've left the lather on for a little bit. I have a smoother, more comfortable shave and I'm happy with the closeness, so that's what I'll go with. So we'll see what the Voshkod, which was the third highest blade in the voting recently on my, that you viewers have done. And this may be one of the last shaves with it. And it's, uh, this, it's a really good match for this particular razor. It was not all that great a match for my open comb uh, Game Changer 68 gap. It was a pretty good match for my Rocknell. And it's doing fine with just a little bit of tugging. So I guess at 10 uses, that's still kind of young, at least for me. Um, so there are definitely blades that are more comfy, so I might still kind of put it near the bottom of the list, but it would definitely be usable. I wouldn't have a problem using it. It's just one of those things that, uh, where there are better blades. Oh, and let's do, let's take some of this beard lather, put it on the trouble spot right there. We want to hit that spot several times because that's where it's hard to get it's hard to get a close cut right there and rinse well i can tell you right now that the 
closeness of the cut was very nice because it's a smooth, silky feel after just one pass. Very nice. And that's also an attribute to the attribution, a mark of the soap as well. Looks like it's got some nice slick moisturizing properties perhaps. Looks like the performance is pretty good. Let's not underestimate it. So far my impression is that the performance is excellent. So we can move on to the cross grain. So the Voshkov, in one area of my face over here, it felt a little tuggy. And it was a little bit more than one day of growth today, but it really wasn't too bad. But other than that, it's been a very, very nice shave. And this uh, second pass was smooth as silk, just didn't even really feel the blade. Probably because so much of the stubble was taken off already. Switching the direction now on my trouble spot. Yeah, pretty nice secondary slickness, especially if you sp spread a little bit of that kind of remnant lather around. It's, you could definitely retouch areas without having to re-lather. All right, I'm going to rinse. All right, third pass. And it looks like I added about the right amount of water. I may have inadvertently hit this one pretty perfect it's creamy got a nice slick feel to it let's let's feel it again now yeah it's a nice uh, nice slickness here kind of a light oily type slickness that is uh, uh, does have a nice luxurious feel to it even after I kind of rub it away it's still there in a small film to uh, to keep things all slick has a nice creaminess, so I think I pretty much nailed this consistency, the ratio of water to soap today. Sometimes it goes that way on the first try. Now, uh, I bet if you wanted to, it wouldn't have a problem taking a little bit more water, you know, than what I added. But if you want the creamy feel, then a ratio like this might be something to head toward least yeah and one nice thing about scooping is it doesn't matter what brush you use because if you're loading with a brush out of the tub which is what I normally like to do then what I recommend to you as a ratio all depends on what brush you use if you use one that's extra scratchy and scritchy then you may need less load time because I like softer brushes same with larger and smaller brushes all right we've got a nice looking lather on the face Let's take it off. I bet I could just easily have gotten away with a two pass shave today. This is one of those bra uh, brazers that I think is quite deceptive. Uh, it's deceptive in that you, I at least, for my skin, I don't really get a an aggressive feel for the razor. But it cuts very closely. I think one of the reasons is, is because of the head design. This is a flat plate. It The drain a way that happens with uh, with with your stubble and hair is because of this open comb design. There's not a 
a slot cut in it like with a lot of razors. So that means these teeth are supporting the bottom of the edge of the blade all the way almost to the edge, like within one or two millimeters of the edge. And then of course you see that the top is you know, two millimeters away. And so the bottom is actually even closer to the edge. And so the support on this razor is super firm and solid. So you're not going to get a lot of audio because of the vibration of the edge, but you're going to get a nice, smooth, consistent cut. Now, hopefully that's not too aggressive for you. And this guy, lifetime parts, meaning everything's brass plated in either uh, chrome or nickel, I believe, are kind of some of the options. Uh, and so the plating may wear away at some point, um, decades down the way. However, inside is brass. And so this guy will last like those vintage Gillette razors for decades and decades and generations and generations, all for about $28, which is crazy. And so I love shaving with this guy and recommending them to other people. That blade alignment thing is about the only, uh, thing that holds them back, I think, from people gravitating toward that razor very easily. Let's see, I've got one more little spot that, let's shave. We, we gave our skin a chance to kind of dry out right then, and so, it, and it did actually do that. And so you, the kind of slickness that you get with this soap, you do want to pay attention to that. It does uh, dry out if you talk to your camera for too long. All right, well, I'm happy with that. I do feel just a little bit of razor burn around, maybe because of that uh, stealthy factor of the razor being a little on the aggressive side, but not feeling like it's aggressive. That blade feel just isn't there, at least for me. So, it looks like the... That might be just an amazing close cut right there. But, got to clear away the little bit of lather to check it out for sure. So, I'll do that now with a rinse. It's about the closest shave I've got in a while. Really, really nice. So, if you don't mind, at least if you have skin like mine, a little bit of irritation, just a little bit. I uh, do have a balm here. It's probably going to take care of it in a matter of a few minutes. Nivea uh, Original. This is actually, I, I bought it at Walmart, and I'm not really finding this one in the stores anymore. And so I bet they've repackaged it. There were... There's one called Maximum Hydration or something like that. Um, that maybe that they kind of morphed the, uh, this one into. This is one of the few balms that actually has alcohol in it. And so I like that because I have oily skin. So the alcohol helps to balance that out just a little bit. Put on a little too much, but it'll absorb. Just an easy going um, men's scent on this balm. Doesn't last too long. I like it. All right, so um, I did feel just a little tuggy over here on my cheek in one spot. So, uh, but everywhere else was a really smooth shave, even from the very first pass. So, a big win in terms of the shave today. Such closeness. Um, I meant to kind of smell the lather before I put on the balm. I didn't really smell the lather very much as I was working it. I'm going to have to look in, at this Natahela scent because I, I don't know if it's unscented or not. I don't think it's supposed to be, but maybe it is. If it's supposed to be unscented, then it's smelling about right. Uh, otherwise, I'm not really getting very much from the bowl, and I don't recall a scent you know, from the shave while I was using the lather itself. So uh, at least if it's supposed to have a scent, it's super mild and light. Um, and the sample, I got it... Uh, about eight months ago, something like that. So it's not a super fresh, but it's also not super old. And it was sealed the whole time, so it shouldn't have really lost too much scent. So pretty low in the scent department, maybe a, uh, maybe a three out of 10, something like that in terms of scent strength. Both the open comb and the closed comb version of these fatigue razors, both, and I like both handles. I like this heavier handle, um, but also like the thicker one that's a little lighter, 
are just some of my favorite razors and I mean among a very large uh, selection uh, folks like Timeless uh, even Wolfman um, some of the vintage Gillette's the Carve Christopher Bradley razor I have this competes with those guys for me because of the joy that this little $28 razor is such a good shaver uh, because of the comfort of the shave that little Gentile and even this guy with other blades will uh, give me a very comfortable shave and then they're close and efficient cutters as well and the price it's just uh, all those things this is perfect storm of a wonderful little razor so I'm a big fan of these guys so I did three passes and this is the lather I ended up with in terms of quantity very nice lather creamy slick so I do like this soap base the Kodiak soap base and it's pretty economical because I used a quarter teaspoon and I still have a couple of passes left I could probably get three out of it if I wanted to and so that's uh, that's pretty nice sometimes these new bases come out and it just takes so much soap to get them uh, to do right because they're focused on moisturizing and, and some of these other things and the consistency like I said pretty much nailed see it's still it's still not dripping it's, it's it's holding its shape together so it could definitely take some more water and still be a great lather so you could take it even further if you wanted to but I'm very happy with this uh, soap base now Murphy and McNeil came out well, maybe it was last year and uh, 2019 they I think one of the things is they were trying to be a one-stop shop and and um, and have their own brand of products but also carry in their online store a bunch of other people's products as well uh, and even some used uh, products and so i think they're trying to be a one-stop shop for shaving stuff i don't know how successful they've become i know that they've they're not used a whole lot in uh in some of the different internet areas that i'm a part of uh, i maybe something that's in my head that they were uh, they had a really good soap base um, in some cases, but they were just kind of duplicating scents uh, from that had kind of already been done a little bit. Uh, and I think also something that detracted me was their initial uh, soap base offering was very soft. Uh, and so, and this is the Kodiak base, which I believe is some kind of new updated different base from them. So uh, I, I haven't had and tried very much from Murphy and McNeil, um, but we'll uh, we'll see how they do over the coming years, especially with this COVID thing going on, see if they survived. All right, but I'm happy with the lather today, happy with the shave. I do feel just a little bit of irritation right around here. Could have been my carelessness. Maybe I'll let certain areas of my neck dry out a little bit too much before I, uh, I went back and readdressed it without re-lathering. You know, it probably, was my mistake. Got, I got a great shave. Very happy with that. Well, there we go with that shave. The brush did great as usual. Soft tips, easy splay, very comfortable. Uh, it definitely shows off lathers and soaps in their best light with its own comfort and softness. Uh, talked about the shave and how nice it was. Talked about the razor, how I enjoyed that. Looks like the Voshkot is a pretty good blade. To work in this razor may not be as good as a few others that uh, don't provide as much mm, irritation or tugging or something like that but still really pretty good I uh, especially in terms of the closeness that I got with today's shave and there we go I believe I uh, at least on the creamy side I nailed the lather kind of right where I wanted to hit it the rinses really were tremendously luxurious they were uh, very slick felt great felt great uh, and the slickness was nice. It was a quick rinse as well. It wasn't super quick, but quick enough where it's just not a bother. There are some super slick soaps that take a while to get off your face. This is not one of those. Uh, it can take more water if you want it to. So it's a good shave today. So this is Sugar Daddy Shaves, and I hope that there was something in this video that's going to help you out. And uh, I hope you have a good day. You take care.